Let me know when you're ready, Dad. Sure. Okay. Three, two, one. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run an SDS page job. And here we'll be using a precast job. Is that job leaking, Dan? Are you serious? Oh my god! Where to go, Dad? Okay, instead of be running SDS page job today, I'll be showing you some tricks on how to prevent job from leaking. Uh, if you have assembled the job apparatus properly and if you still end up with a leaky job, uh, the most likely reason is because uh, the button seal here is worn out. And I have two tricks that I usually use to prevent my job from leaking. The first trick is to use a parafilm. The second trick is to use a pen. Okay, so the first trick is to use the parafilm. So here I have a piece of parafilm. Uh, right now it's too small to cover the seal so what we have to do is we'll stretch it a little bit so it's long enough to cover the seal so we'll place the parafilm directly over the seal like that and then we'll just uh, put on the glass plate like usual So like that, what the parafilm does is uh, it actually provides a, a better seal on the bottom and therefore your jaw won't leak. And now you, are, uh, you can go ahead and pour the jaw in. Uh, the other trick which we'll use is the, using a pen. So what we'll do is we'll actually pound the plate first like that. And then we'll take a pen and then we'll stick the pen right there. What this, what this does is uh, the pen uh, will increase uh, the pressure that's generated from the clamp down here so the plates will actually be clamped down tighter and therefore the seal on the bottom will be better. Uh, you can use it, these two tricks separately or you can combine them and it's all up to you. So here are the two tricks on how to prevent the gel from leaking. The first one using the parafilm, uh, the second one using a pen. So if you have any other tips that can prevent a gel from leaking, please feel free to contact us. See you guys next time.